Hey everyone, today I have three fun and simple Dollar Tree Halloween DIYs that I think you're going to enjoy. And by the way, if you're new here, welcome to my channel. I'm Tanya, and I hope that you all like, share, and subscribe. I'm gonna go ahead and start out by making a witch's broom that was inspired by something I saw in Michael's. Now I took one of those little plastic cup bottoms and one of the pieces of foam shaped like a tree. Now I'm gonna just wrap up some of the skewer sticks all these items, everyone, were from Dollar Tree, and these turned out so high in, and they look wonderful and nice little Halloween decor pieces. Now, you can see I took and wrapped those up with some tape and kind of broke it a little bit to bend it because I want my little witch's broom to look like it has the bend in it like I had saw at Michael's. And then I'm just going to pop that right in that top there of that little piece of styrofoam, and this made a really quick and simple way to make some really cute Halloween decor. Now I'm just gonna take my glue and I'm just gonna paint that on there and then I'm gonna wrap this in tissue paper. The reason why I'm wrapping this in the tissue paper is that is going to help give the mop head something to adhere to. And everyone, this could not have been simpler, but when you see it finished, it just turned out so great. And it's a really solid piece that you'll be able to just put out every year and pop on a shelf or write in with your little vignette. But what a fun piece of decor. Now you can see I'm taking those little strips and I'm gonna layer them all on there and then trim off at the bottom. And now I'm gonna take some more of the mop head pieces and I'm going to be separating those here in a moment. And I decided I wanted to wrap a little something around the top just to make that have a little bit thicker part around the bottom of the handle. And you see how that finished that off nicely. Now I'm gonna take those pieces that I separated and I'm just gonna take a few at a time and glue them on. And I thought that give it a more realistic look to the broom. And I've decided just to paint mine completely black. So I took some of my just black acrylic paint that I had picked up. I think I might've got that one at Michael's also. But everyone, this turned out so pretty. And just coat that on there. And you can see once you get that painted, you can't even tell that that's tape. I decided to decorate mine up a little bit with some of the fall colors because I thought that made it look a little more cute. And then I had some of these berry picks that I had picked up there at Dollar Tree. But everyone, what a fun and quick and simple design. And I do hope that you enjoyed this one. And here is our little witch's broom all ready to be displayed. Now for our next DIY, we're gonna start out by painting one of those little ghosts. I end up adding three of the ghosts for this design. Gonna use those skewers, took that candlestick, and I turned it upside down because the hole was perfect for me to start building my spooky tree. Now I'm gonna be using a lot of this tissue paper and then some of those brown paper lunch bags, and I'm filling that up with glue and paper, just giving it some stability, popping that down in there, and now I'm just gonna start wrapping everything with my masking tape again, bending this the way I want the tree to be shaped. And everyone, you could do so many different designs with this. I decided just to do kind of a short, simple little tree because I wanted to put the ghost on there. But there is so many fun things that you can create like this out of nothing but some tissue paper, some tape, and some sticks, and some paper bags. So I hope this one gives you some inspiration to create your own little spooky tree because I know this was so fun. Now I am going to go ahead and go through several of the steps because I want you to see how I actually built this up to get all those layers together. And you can tell I'm using that glue again. Now I'm just going to start really piling on the paper bags and I'm just going to layer them, tear them in pieces, whatever I need to do just to get the look of bark. And you can just keep building this up. Now you can see there I needed a little fullness right around the bottom part of the candle there. And that's when I'm gonna be taking some tissue paper and I'm just gonna kind of bunch it loosely and you'll see me kind of glue that around. So everyone, you can shape any kind of tree that you would like to have. Just when you're doing the tissue paper, make sure you kind of put that on kind of loosely. And if it's not thick enough, just add a little bit more. 
but this made a really adorable little spooky tree. So I do hope that you've enjoyed these today. Now I'm gonna keep on by gluing on the paper and then I'm gonna cut the bottom to look like the tree roots down there at the bottom and then I have to go back on one more time with that tissue paper. Now I'm just making one of those little nubs to come off of the side of my old tree. And you can do that just by rolling your paper up and then just gluing that on. And once you get that painted, it's going to look just like a little nub off of the tree. Now, once I get this done, we'll start by doing the tissue paper and we're gonna layer that tissue paper kind of lightly on there just to kind of cover up all of the brown bag. And the tissue paper will crinkle, so that helps it look a lot more like the bark on the tree. But everyone, I hope you enjoy these today. I have three. I'll try to upload again for you on Wednesday and Saturday. I wasn't feeling too well last week, so I didn't get to do a whole lot. But I'm back at it again and ready to create. Now you can see how I'm putting the tissue paper on there. And you just want to keep layering that until you get the look that you want. And once you get that covered in the glue really well, the glue will kind of dry in crinkles also. So that really helps with the look of the bark. Now I decided since I have been using my favorite brown color, Java, and that's a folk art chalk paint. And then I'm gonna pull out a little bit more of that acrylic black. And then I think I get some raw sienna and white and dab on here at the end. And you can paint your tree any color you like, everyone. I just wanted you to have this inspiration because I thought what a fun and inexpensive way to get a really neat piece of decor for your Halloween decor. Or you could even do one of these for fall decor also and just add some branches and some leaves on there and you can see i'm kind of making mine have a little bit of that spooky look but everyone i started out with just one ghost and then i decided to add two more because i wanted them to be peeking out from behind the back of the tree but this is probably one of my favorites i love this little tree so it will definitely be a keeper and I'm actually working on a website and I'm hoping to have that up by the end of the week and I am going to have items on there for you to buy that I have made. So please drop it in the comments below and let me know if that is something that you're going to be interested in. Here is our little spooky tree with the ghost and it couldn't be cuter. Let me know what you think of this one everyone in the comments below. Okay, everyone, my last DIY was so simple. I had these pumpkins that I had purchased last year at Dollar Tree, and I'm gonna use the larger one on the bottom. I'm gonna take both of the little pumpkin stems out, and then I'm gonna use those skewers again. They make the best parts to get these little pumpkins and different things to stand together. Now, I decided that I wanted to make a black cat, but I have the easiest idea for the cat ears. Those plastic placemats at Dollar Tree, you can cut those and make a slit and they pop right in that foam on the pumpkin and they make perfect ears for your little black cat. Once I get the little ears on there, I'm gonna paint everything up and then I took a piece of that larger rope from Dollar Tree and I'm just gonna paint that so our kitty has a little tail and I decided just to curve my tail and make it come up like it was curled on the side. And of course, we're gonna be decorating this just like we did the tree in the broom with some of those pretty colors of fall from Dollar Tree. They really have pretty florals. And I decided to put that pumpkin stem right on here. So we're gonna call this a little pumpkin black kitty. But everyone, here it is. And I think these turned out adorable. I hope you do. And if you did enjoy this video today, please like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget to let me know if you're excited to see all of the things I'm gonna have on my website coming soon. Have a wonderful week. See you soon.